Okay. Yeah, I see my students are also in here. All right, then. Okay, that's great. Okay, um, so he's not supposed to be here. He's doing his internship. Now, oh. Fal, say hello. <laughs> Hello, Nofal. How are you, Jan? <laughs> Ini anak yang bijak ni. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, uh, bijak <laughs> yang sometimes I also don't know how to answer his questions. Bijak <laughs> sangat. Ah, <laughs> uh, ibu Nofal. Ah, uh, what subject do you teach? Ah, uh, other than uh, uh, content marketing, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for this term, I teach uh, business co uh, communications mm -hmm. and then uh, what is that? Uh, content marketing and then marketing communications. Ah, uh, I see. You are a marketing lecturer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, all right. uh, my class is not big for uh, content marketing. It's around mm -hmm. 17, if I'm not mistaken. And then it is. Okay. Uh, it is conducted in online, not I hybrid. See. Yeah, okay. Just only for the freshmen, they are coming to the uh, uni. Ah, okay. So uh -huh. they take the subject in their first year, second year? Uh, no, they are, uh, what is it? I think they are in the fifth semesters. Oh, I see. So specialization uh -huh. of marketing is... Yeah, concentrations, yeah. Ah, okay, uh -huh. okay. Fine. Yeah, that's right. I'm so happy, Ibu, okay, to meet you again. And then yes. it is a pleasure to have a collaboration <laughs> with UITM. Yes. Oh, yeah, I would like to introduce you as well to Ibu Pamela. Ibu Pamela, would you like to make your camera on? She's also a lecturer in marketing. Oh, hello, Ibu Pamela. Apa kabar? Hi, Ibu. Salam kenal. Salam. Uh, Ibu di rumah, ya? Di, di yeah, rumah. saya di rumah. Ah, okay. Ibu juga uh, dosennya marketing, pemasaran. Ya, ya betul. Ya, kemarin saya bawa mahasiswa saya satu kelas untuk gabung. Ya, ah, thank okay. you. Yes, yesterday ramai ya. Ya, ya kemarin. Ah, 70 over ya. ya. Hari ini kebetulan tidak ada kelas, Ibu. Maaf, jadi tidak bisa bawa mahasiswa untuk join. Ah, okay. ah, okay. uh, the same with me. I don't have class today, but I did ask them to join the session. Alright, oke. Okay. Ya, insya Allah uh, semoga akan tambah lagi nanti seperti insya kemarin. Insya Allah ya. No problem. Ya. Uh -huh. uh, actually, we've got a, what is it? A kind of a workshop. Just so Ibu Tifa is uh, doing a workshop. Oke. Okay? Oke. Okay. Uh, so she said, so sorry, oke. Okay? But probably she will join later. Oke, okay, sure. Uh -huh. Okay, well, okay, if, uh, class, would you like to uh, make your camera on? Kita buka dulu ya kameranya ya? Iya. Yeah. Okay. Ya, yeah, thank you, Noval. Hai, <laughs> Noval. Okay, thank you, Anissa, Amira. Okay, uh, thank you, Dava. Who else? Dava. Okay, ya, yeah, Anissa, uh, Farel, yes. Ismail, would you like to make your camera on? Tajul, Puspa. Akmal, Amira, uh, Ketia, Pandu, uh, Dinda, Aisyah. Uh, shall we start, Ibu? Oke, okay, sure. Right. Yeah. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Oke, okay. let, let me open first. Is it okay? Sure, sure. sure. Yeah, no problem. Right. Okay. <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, it is a pleasure and honor for us to have a guest lecturer, Miss Jaslyn Muhammad Dahlan from UITM Malaysia that she will uh, share uh, her experience and the knowledge okay, in our class about the content marketing strategies. Okay, so feel free if you've got any question during her presentations, uh, you can ask some questions to her. Oke, okay, without further ado, please welcome Ibu Jaslyn. Give her a big applause. Oke. 
Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A very good morning. Still morning in Jakarta? Yeah, yeah still uh, morning. Uh -huh. Still morning. Okay. Uh, we are here in Malaysia. We are almost approaching uh, the noon. Uh, it's oh, already 11.20 here in Malaysia. But nevertheless, uh, it's always good to see uh, new people, to see uh, anxious, you know, hungry look hungry for knowledge okay yeah. hungry for knowledge um people you know um it is your class hour but for those who do not have class but are here today then you are definitely hungry for knowledge okay we never stop learning there's always something new to learn every day okay so um firstly i must say thank you to Perbanas institute especially to dr tifa for making this session happen thank you to miss oval for you know becoming my my partner since yesterday so yesterday was a session she shared uh topics uh best practices international best practices of content marketing with my class they enjoyed the class uh, i gave them a small assignment at the end of the class so later on we'll see the outcome of it okay all right okay all right ibu, okay, so, excuse me uh, yeah. there is ibu nani fitriani that i would like to introduce you to as well she is the Hi, ibu nani. of the study program ibu nani fitriani would you like to open your camera please and then also there is also mr jasman okay yes miss nani yeah hi salam kenalan <laughs> yeah bisa kenal dengan ibu jaslin probably and then there yeah. is also Pak Jasman, if I'm not mistaken. Hello, Pak Jasman. Pak Jasman is the vice of dean in uh, business and economics. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's Pak Jasman. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello, Ibu Jasmine. Salam kenal. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> yes. Welcome, yeah. Ibu, to Perbanas. Thank you. Inshallah, uh, we can, you know, further extend this um, relationship towards uh, research, yeah? research collaboration yes. together. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Pak Jasman, want to say something? Mm, Ibu uh, Tifa saja. Ibu Tifa saja. <laughs> Where is Miss Tifa? Uh, I couldn't see her in the screen. Yeah. Ibu Nani probably want to say something, the secretary of the study program of uh, management. Mm. Bu Nani Fitriani, I saw her here. Okay, thank you, Ibu oh, Nani. Hi. Okay. Bu Nani is also Hello. a lecturer in uh, marketing communication. Oh, that is Miss okay. Tifa. Okay, yeah, okay, yes. Uh, Miss Nani first, and then I will give it the time to Miss Tifa then. Yes, Minani, Miss Nani, Miss Nani, wanna say something to Miss Jaslyn because we are about to start. Thank you, Miss Oval and Miss Jaslyn. So sorry for not being on time because we have an agenda here in Jakarta. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Jaslyn, thank you very much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Okay, and then there is also Miss Tifa. Miss Tifa, wanna say something? <laughs> short brief introduction welcome miss jaslyn to our thank class you. virtually and for our thank student you. enjoy the collaboration class and hopefully Inshallah. soon we can uh, help the class offline whether in jakarta or malaysia thank you sure. miss jaslyn inshallah thank okay. you yes okay thank you miss tifa well okay without further ado okay the time will be given to you uh back miss jaslyn okay thank you okay uh I cannot seem to be able to share my screen. I don't know. Let me try. All right, then. Uh, okay, class, would you like to make your camera on if you've got any question or uh, comment regarding to the presentation? Yes, okay, done. Thank you. Yeah, it's already seen. It's yeah, seen. okay. Uh huh. Oops. Okay, I hope you can see my screen right now. Yes, it's nice. Yes. Using Canva, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I'm a, a big fan of Canva. 
Yeah, all right then. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to my fellow uh, lovely colleagues at Perbanas Institute, students of Perbanas Institute, and a few students that I see from UITM Johor. Thank you and welcome to our guest lecture series. Okay, uh, this is a second uh, session. We had one yesterday with uh, Ms. Oval. And today I will continue with the session number two, okay, content marketing strategies. My name is Jaslyn. Um, okay, this is an overview of my lecture. I will start with some brief introduction of what marketing, content marketing is. Uh, when I prepared this slide, I thought I should have a short introduction because here in UITF, we do not have a, sub, a subject uh, for content marketing, but we have it as a chapter. So I believe my students need a brief introduction and for students of Perbanas, um, it's a refresher yeah, for all of you. And then I will continue with uh, content marketing strategies. And later on, I will share some examples uh, of real life uh, examples of how content marketing is used. Okay, as an introduction, what is content marketing? Okay, content marketing is a marketing technique of creating and distributing relevant and valuable content to attract, acquire, engage with target audience. This one was taken from Content Marketing Institute 2015. It was, uh, you know, coined or used or you know, created uh, about eight years ago. But all the keywords there are still relevant. It is still a marketing technique. It is still used to create and distribute relevant and valuable content. And you know why we do content marketing? You know it is still to attract, acquire, engage with target audience. The only difference, maybe, is with the platform use. Okay, um, eight years ago, maybe we do not have some of the platforms or techniques that are available today. But the definition is still true. It's still strong. But what is content marketing not? It is not an advertising. Yesterday, I remember a student of UITM Johor, Amirul mentioned about soft sell. So content marketing is soft sell. It's not ad like advertising because advertising is hard selling. What's the difference between hard selling and soft selling? Hard selling is, you know, putting this product to you and say, buy, buy. This is at 20 ringgit, buy. Good for you, buy. But content marketing do not do that. Content marketing will say, um, my personal um, story would be, uh, since COVID came about uh, two years ago, uh, I'm still a COVID virgin. Uh, uh, Inshallah, na'uzubillah min zalik, I have not yet been tested positive for COVID. How did I do that? How did I survive? I wear the mask every time. I use disinfectant all the time. Whenever I'm in a room, I will spray uh, disinfectant spray everywhere I am. So that's how I protect myself. Am I selling anything? No, I'm just sharing with you how I stay protected and how did I survive not getting COVID so far, inshallah. Okay, so that is content marketing. I'm writing and sharing my experience, my feeling to you. Whether it gets to you or not, that's another story. But that is my story. So my story is content marketing. But advertising is selling. It's putting that product to you and say, this is our product, you can get it where, at what price, and what does it do, okay? Content marketing is not a campaign. It is not a periodic, it's not um, you know time-based, it's not just during um, uh, Idul Fitri or Christmas or you know any festive seasons. Uh, it is you know, continuous, it is consistent. Um, content writing is, you know, something that you do all the time. You improve, you come back to it, you know, you, you, you do it all the time. It's not like advertising. It's not even a tactic. Uh, certain campaign or tactic will have objectives like to increase sales. So you do things to sell your product to increase sales. But content marketing do not do that. Okay. And content marketing is not a push marketing. Advertising is a push marketing. Content marketing is something that you see, you may like it, you may get attracted to it, you may want to, you know, get a hold of the product or buy the product, okay? But it does not push to you. We go out and find them, okay? 
for instance, IG. IG do not come on our television or in our newspaper. Okay? That is a kind of push marketing. But we go to our phone. We go, you know, open IG app. And we go and find the, the, the content. So it is more pulling marketing than push marketing. Okay, I hope the, the basic definition is, is, is clear. Okay, all right. Coming back to the definition again. Okay, content marketing is a marketing technique. What is a marketing technique? Marketing technique is a series or set of strategic methods or actions that we aim to promote a business uh, goods or services. Okay, that's the marketing technique. So content marketing is one of the marketing technique. Is to attract, is to you know promote the business service, uh, the pro business product or services. Okay, uh, content marketing creates and uh, creating and distributing uh, through many platforms: social media, videos, blogs, articles in websites, SEO, many others. Yesterday, Mr. Ova shared with us a video. Okay. Um, before seeing that video, I thought it was like a movie. Okay, because it's it's really a storytelling. Uh, I did know that Starbucks was not uh, you know, um Howard Schultz was not the founder of Starbucks because all this while we only hear his name associated with Starbucks. But through the video, I came to know that it was actually somebody else's business. He was interested in the business. He went to, you know, wanting to purchase, but they didn't want to sell. So he, you know, created his own coffee shop, did not make it, you know, and then the new uh, owner came back to Howard, offered him the business, and now he owns the business and doing really, really well. So that is something that, you know, um, inspired me because businesses is, you know, I, uh, we are not supposed to go and find a new business and, you know, create a new business. We can always go and buy. If we are rich enough, of course, you know, we can buy existing businesses that are doing well, provided that we're filthy rich, okay? But anyhow, the content in the video uh, does not shout to you and say, go to Starbucks and buy Starbucks. Starbucks is on offer today. Today, we have, we have a special uh, flavor or whatever. No, it was not even mentioned. The few things that was mentioned in the video was latte because that's a new menu that he acquired from uh, during his trip to Italy. And of course, uh, the branches, you know, how the branches grew from one to multiple until today. Okay. So the video was not a push marketing. It was, uh, no, it, yeah, it was not a push marketing. It was not selling Starbucks to you. But after watching the video, yeah, you want to go and get Starbucks. But I did not get one yesterday. Okay, so that was the content marketing, okay, uh, the video. And what is it that you want to do with the content that you have? Okay, coming back to the definition there, yeah? creating and distributing relevant and valuable content to attract, to acquire, to engage, uh, to audience, to target audience. These target audience are mostly likely not yet your customers. Okay, your customers don't don't want you know they're not bothered if you have promotion or whatever, but not yet customers they are the one that you want to attract. Those are the one you want to, you know, um, tell them that you have those things. Uh, you have that product or services. Okay, so content marketing should be good for everyone. Although you can customize your content towards your existing customer, a certain age, a certain geographic area, but commonly it should go well with everyone okay so uh, i'm now coming to the uh, content marketing strategy but before that i just want to share some uh, a small definition of marketing strategy okay just now marketing technique the process and methods so marketing strategy is a combination of clearly determined determined actions and rules of conduct you plan for it you Put it on paper, you have people discuss with you what is it that you want to do with the current uh, resources that we have in the business to make the business run effectively and at the end, of course, the profit oriented, uh, the profit maximization target. Okay, so content marketing is also like that. You want to drive traffic to the website or to your social media platform. Okay, 
So these are some of the big whys why we do content marketing. Okay, to drive traffic on the social web and company's website to ensure quality and consistency. Okay, you don't want to have your uh, IG account to have you know too many different. Uh, I would say persona or uh, what do we say style. Okay, uh, for education uh, institutes institutions like us, we usually put in you know the program that we have the events that we conduct or we have, you know, like today with Babanas, um, the students' activities, the, you know, uh, visits by other people to the campus and so on. But we're not going to have, you know, TikTok videos for no reason in our official website. Isn't that true? Yeah, because that does not seem to fit in. But if TikTok video is, you know, part of the event of the university, then it could be in. Okay. So again, content uh, must be consistent with the objective of the overall uh, platform. Okay, third is to have a holistic view of the marketing strategy to be applied. Okay, that's why I mentioned about marketing strategy because content marketing also fits in the uh, big marketing strategy of our institution or our business. Okay, uh, fourth is to answer how your content fulfills the expectations of your customer. Okay, um, I, 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 I am the coordinator for a program. Uh, we call it um, Ijazah Sajana Muda Pemasaran Digital, Bachelor of Digital Marketing here in Johor. Uh, it's the only one available in the whole UITM system. Okay, for information, we have 14 campuses. Uh, throughout Malaysia. So Johor is one of the state campus. And this program, Bachelor of Digital Marketing, is only offered in Johor. And um, you know, the students that were in the class yesterday were students of digital marketing semester three. Okay. So uh what I did with the program was that I made some students to handle their social media. So now we have two active ones, uh Instagram and also TikTok. But the content of those two platforms, I, I, I do control, but I do let them, uh, you know, have some feel of what social media should be. Okay, uh, giving them the opportunity actually lets them let them know, you know, if you are handling your own social media, then it will be whatever you feel or whatever you go through on that day, or during that period of time or that at that moment, but to control a club or you know a, a more formal set set up or i of ig okay uh, ig of a company for instance or ig of a club then they be more serious and more you know um they need to know more what the target audience of that ig account wants so the account was created if i'm not mistaken about two no a year and a half ago but the past half year, uh, since this year, okay, the content has more or less, um, you know, the kind of content that they have is activities and uh, sometimes um, reminders of the university important dates, you know, when to register for your subject, when is your exam, when is the holiday and all that. And also some tips, you know, they also share tips on how to survive something. Uh, lately, it, the last one I saw was the importance of soft skills. Uh, now, Fal, if you're still around, can you put in the chat uh, the link to our Telegram, uh, DMAC, Telegram of DMAC, okay? So that our friends in Indonesia can also join and see what I mean. Okay, now Fal and Akil, I think I saw just now. So if you're around, please uh, put in the link yeah, in the chat. Thank you. Okay, so. Uh, you know, we um what I'm saying is that the content of your IG should fit the expectation or the target market that you're using that you are having. Okay, for instance, our IG, okay, uh, the club's IG, our customers or our potential targets are everyone, students, current students, and also not yet students, uh, because we also get questions from uh students who are coming to the program, you know, uh, or are interested in the program ask questions through IG. So I, I, I can see the benefit of having that. 
but I always tell the the team to always put good content because good content will keep people in with you. Okay, uh, once you start to do things that are not okay with the target customer, then they will go off. All right. Next is to control and manage online content. Okay, this one I just uh, spoke on this. Okay, uh, to have the IG is one, but to control and manage your content is another thing. I let them do what they want, but um, yeah, I do control and also do remind them on the important national events yeah? like the coming um, election, general election, or previously we had the Sultan of Johor uh, birthday. So it's, you know, it's to show, you know, the, the, the club uh, is concerned of what is happening around us. Okay. Okay. Lastly, to create, gather and distribute content. Okay. To create, gather and distribute content is not a one person's job. Okay. Um, in Malaysia, uh, a lot of people, a lot of companies have very few people to do digital marketing. And what they say is that, no, you don't need too many. One person to, to take care of all is enough. Okay. So maybe one person looks after uh, FB, one person looks after IG, but what they, what they don't know is that whatever you post on IG uh, may be the same as what you post on other social media, but it may also be different. It depends on the context and the need of the uh, audience. If your audience is on IG, uh, then don't bother about Facebook, just focus on IG. And there are things uh, that is on IG, you know, there are certain rules to IG, you know, the size of your photo, of your posting, uh, the, num the duration of your video, all that matters. So on FB, they, that, there's no limit to that. So you can put the longer video or, you know, the longer content on Facebook, but not on Twitter. Twitter has got, you know, very limited number of words. So that is even worse. Okay, so you cannot have one person looking after one social media or, you know, let alone one person looking after many social media because that is going to be trouble. Okay, so this is basically uh, some of the objectives of content marketing and why we do content. Okay, so um, this one I took from the internet. Okay, uh, the five W's and there's supposed to be one H, how? But I couldn't fit it in, so I just take the five W's of content creation strategies, okay? Uh, we start with the who, okay? Uh, who are define your target audience? What is identify the needs, interests, and wants? Where, uh, where do you want to put it? Okay, what, which platform or techniques that you want to use? When and why? Okay, why I have, I have mentioned uh, earlier, so I will follow, uh, you know, continue with who. Okay, so who are the customers that you want to cater? Okay, why do customers choose a specific product? Why do they want to buy your product? Why do they need to buy your product? Which marketing channels you find your target group? As I said before, if they are on IG, okay, uh, you're selling, um, you know, this uh, very uh, specific device that only teenagers use, then don't sell on Facebook. Don't waste your time on Facebook, okay? Sell on IG because that's where the teenagers are. But if you want to sell, you know, to parents to buy for the children, then Facebook is still relevant to you, okay? Or even product for pensioners, okay? Don't don't stop selling on IG because there are pe young people who like to buy the product for their elder parents or, you know, grandparents or whatever, okay? So it's good to have multiple platforms, but you need to know your focus so that you don't waste time, you don't waste, uh, you don't waste resources, okay? Right, third, what can motivate or demotivate customers from benefiting from your offer? Um, I remember many years, I think about six, seven years ago, uh, there was this uh, group of uh, interns who were doing their intern at a marketing company. Uh, that company sells, um, I'm not sure if in Indonesia you have it, Madu Kelulut. Kelulut is the type of bee. It's the stingless bee. Oh, Do you have yeah. it? Are they, yeah? yeah. Okay. Why do I yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. So these uh, students were doing their internship at that company, doing sales. So uh, 
they were placed in different platforms. So one is working on FB, uh, Facebook, one on Instagram. At that time, uh, TikTok was still not available and one on website. So there are six of them, two each working on each platform. So they're supposed to come up with their own content, you know, uh, take pictures of the madu kelulut, put it on the uh, page and all that. Yeah, so it's a kind of a social media specialist, yeah, Ibu. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Most of the marketing students, uh, when they go for internship, they will be, you know, placed in such uh, positions. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what these uh, students were doing, I saw that on FB, yeah, the one on FB was that selling uh, madu kelulut to um, older, older, older people. Uh, I would say like, you know, the more than 50 year olds. Okay. But she was using language like, thank you, you all, you know, for coming. You all tahu tak ada produk baru. And I was like, you're selling to makcik pakcik, you're using this kind of words, you know, you think makcik and pakcik can understand your you alls and I alls and all that. So, by the way, I alls and you alls are slangs uh, that these youngsters were using in, you know, in Malaysia back then. Now they don't use yeah. it anymore. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah, so it's, you know, using uh, new words like malu do, uh, kan tak, tak beli uh, madu kelulut. It's like, Eh, Pakcik tu faham lah, you use such terms. So, you know, they, they get turned off because they don't understand. They they think that, you know, oh, this one's selling to young people, not to them. Mm -hmm. Or they even, you know, become offended because do is not bodoh. Do is like mm -hmm. brother, like that, you know? Yeah. So, uh -huh. uh, it, the audience find it offended that these kids are, you know, like using words that are, oh, who are you talking to? You know, we are the elderly people, you know, you should be you know, using nice words to encourage us to buy. So, after the, the comment that I made, the girls took the challenge and they reword the, the, the promotion tactic. They were okay. using like, uh, Pakcik sehat tak? Uh, Pakcik sakit lutut? Uh, saya ada penawarnya. So, you know, it's like more encouraging and more like, eh, you know, these youngsters are concerned about me. They want to take care mm. of me. They want to, you know, sell me something that is going to be good for me. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, the sudden change. So from no likes, no sharing, after the change, you know, they were more uh, sharing with other people because mm -hmm. they, they can relate to the message. So that motivates them from, you know, taking action, um, sharing, liking, or even uh, buying the products. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Next is how are competitors' products perceived? What are your competitors doing? Are they doing the same tactic? Are they using the, you know, a, a personality artist, you know, to sell the product for them? So if they are, then, you know, maybe you should be doing that too. Or because uh, using artists or, you know, singers are going to be expensive. But there are also artists who are not very expensive. So, you know, you can use them. So how competitors do it? We can do different we can be equally as daring or as expensive as that, or we can, you know, just follow, okay? So what questions are most asked by your customers? What are your customers interested in? Okay, these two questions are related because when customers have queries, you know, you more or less know what they're asking for, and then you can, you know, should address the problem. Uh, the one thing that we do not like is when we start, to ask questions to the page, you know, trying to engage with the businesses and they don't reply. Or they will say PM. PM is personal message. You know, when we say, uh, you know, when we ask for price, they will say, please PM. Why can't you just disclose your harga, your price? Okay, so those are the things that, you know, uh, companies should take care, should, uh -huh. should be concerned of. Yeah, if your customers are always asking for price, then maybe it's time you should put the price in the in the post. So they don't have to ask anymore. Okay, and lastly is what kind of added value can you propose which they will find precious? Okay, uh, being different is good, but being very different is maybe dangerous also. Okay, so mm -hmm. the bottom line is you have to know your customers. We don't want to surprise them, you know, with things that they are not familiar with or ways that they are not uh, happy with, okay? Um, for example, if you're selling to business people, 
okay, um, either in the urban area or in the rural area. Both are businesses, yes. But the one in the urban area may one may be able to buy your product in large volume, but the one in the urban, uh, in the rural may only you know buy one time and then don't buy it anymore. Or they don't buy as often as the one in the urban because of the market demand is not the same. Okay, so if the seller can anticipate what the customer wants and how they want it, then you become you know, uh, like you know your customer well. But in actual fact, you don't. Okay, nobody knows their customer well until you you start selling to them. All right. Okay, that's the who, the first one. Where. Okay, where are the tools and the platforms that you can use? Okay, uh, you can use blogs, newsletter, micro page, micro page or website, eh? uh, social media, white paper, sponsor article, ebook, anywhere. But what is required, what is important is the imagination. You must use your imagination, creativity, okay, simplicity. Simplicity means don't go overboard, don't you know spend too much, and then does not bring you much return okay uh, then the you know the investment uh, will go wrong um what is advisable is to study the analytics okay while doing it if the analytics goes well then you can continue if not then try to do something lesser expensive or lesser uh, resource uh, you know using lesser resources don't forget the elements of surprise every now and then, okay? And uh, I want to share a tip from this expert, okay? He is uh, Lucas O'Keefe. Um, he's a good uh, social media. For now, I think he's an influencer, but I follow him for his tips, okay? How to make uh, an impactful uh, Instagram profile. So this is his suggestion on content. Okay, um, not working on weekends. Okay, unlike uh, most of us, we work throughout the week. Okay, uh, Saturday, Sunday also we are you know doing something for the office, but he says just do it during the week. So have one day for a specific topic or issue. For instance, uh, on Monday he's suggesting motivational Monday. Okay, today should be a quick tip Tuesday. So share anything that you like, even on your personal uh, IG. Okay, just to get the feel of it, right? So this means every day you have something to write about, okay? And when you write frequently, consistently, people will follow you. People will find you interesting. People will, you know, try to learn something from you, okay? And a special, a special um, tip for my fellow uh, lecturers, docent, okay? Uh, even us as lecturers, we should always we should also post something on our social media, okay? Uh, not only on our family activities or our you know social activities, but also mm -hmm. on you know educational or academic uh, issues, because uh, students do follow do follow and do read our social media. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what we tell them in class them sometimes they forget. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes you come back and say, yeah, such a wonderful gathering you had with your family last week. And I was like, how do you know? <laughs> you know, uh, Imeda, where do you get that food? You know, I, I went and they were out of it. So uh, next time I want to go and try. And I'm, you know, I suddenly find that, oh, people follow me and people want to be like me or want to have the experience like me. So mm -hmm. I use that opportunity to work on useful content. Okay. Uh, I think this is also the best platform for us to marah or even to, you know, um, advise on something that we, we cannot do it personally face-to-face. -face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's a good platform. Try it. Try it. Okay. But again, uh, these are not limited to, you know, this training Thursday, fun Friday and all that. You can always have your own team for any day that you want. Okay. Uh, I will share this slide with um, Ms. Ovar and also Ibu Tifa. Okay, so the students we can can take a look at this. Okay, lastly is when. Okay, when this one I took uh from Social Pilot. This is what they suggested. Okay, for the top one is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pin. Oh no, no, sorry, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Pinterest, Insta, and Google Plus. Okay, so it seems that Facebook has got the longest best time to post. 
because uh, people use Facebook not only for social, okay? They also use it for businesses and for um, corporate purposes. Most businesses are already on uh, Facebook. They are not yet on uh, Instagram, but they are on LinkedIn, of course. But people don't go on LinkedIn for no reason, unlike Facebook, okay? I do take my phone out, you know, even during class, when I give students uh, exercises, I will just take a quick scroll to see what is important or what is latest, okay? But I sometimes end up chatting, all right? My bad. Okay, so this is from Social Pilot. Next one is from Trap Maven. Okay, more or less the same. Um, Facebook is still almost the weekend, but he's but this one suggested uh, during the evening, okay, not during the daytime. So you can try see which one works, because uh, all these are in the states, okay, they are in the west. So us in the ASEAN countries, we may have a different pattern how people scroll, when they scroll, okay, and what do they look for. Okay, putting it together. There's no fixed formula, okay? There's no, um, you know, exact rule that it should be, you know, uh, serious, uh, you know, your content should be sounded serious, should use pictures, pictures should be three colors, okay? If there is such a thing as three colors, or you shouldn't use pictures because then, you know, uh, it will become less formal. No, there's no fixed formula. The main thing is, you are communicating with your target audience. You need to know your audience, who they are, what are they, uh, what are they looking for, uh, are they already your customer or not yet your customer? Are you selling them the idea? You want to attract them? Do you want to engage them? Okay, uh, those two, even those two uh, objective has got different style of uh, writing your content. Okay. And of course, your objectives, okay? Uh, what is it that you want to um, achieve, okay, in your posting? So, no companies post only one once a day. Most will do, you know, multiple times. Oh, no, I mean not once a week or once a month, okay? Uh, some daily, some two or three times a day, depends. But I think too often in a day will, you know, will make people turn uh, off because you know like why so many why so many why so frequent the same thing different thing you know uh always selling or always writing content you know um you must uh how do i say alternately okay sell content content sell content content sell uh, like that so you can sell more sell during the weekends when they are all you know always on their phone but Occasionally, on daily basis, it's it should be on content. Okay, less sell. Okay, I'm going to share last one, content planner. Okay, uh, this one is what I use and also what I use I used to use when I was working with uh, the private company, yeah, internet company. Okay, this is um, uh, a sample of a monthly planner. You can use it for your personal uh, use also. Uh, this is probably in December because why uh, every day until the third week of the month uh, every day you have to do a holiday campaign or holiday related campaign okay so I suspect this is uh, somewhere in December and by the way I took this from Hootsuite. Hootsuite is a good source of information for social media practitioners okay uh, they've got useful contents um, they share good uh, materials online Okay, um, you all should take a look at it. Okay, so uh, on on daily basis until the Christmas day is holiday campaign. But on Tuesdays, I would say they have Tuesday and Thursday, they have a uh, new co uh, content. Okay, so on the top right, as you can see here, okay, on the top right, uh, color coded uh, types of content that you can have, whether it's a campaign, is it an ebook? Okay, ebook is a uh, compilation of your materials, okay? Uh, a webinar maybe, a blog post, a slide share, okay? You can have different types of uh, content. And on daily basis, you will put it, uh, you, know, you will plan out for the rest of the month, for the whole month. 
Okay, um, my interns, okay, uh, some of them are doing this for the companies, but not for one month. They're doing it for like two, three months ahead. So when the time comes, say something happens, okay. Um, I, fortunately, we have uh, on this Saturday our general election. We knew about this about three weeks ago. So imagine when we were planning the content for the month of November, we didn't know that there was going to be the general election. But now that we know, we can add in to the, day, the monthly planner, okay, some tips on, uh, you know, what to do at the polling station, what to bring. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, put posts on who to elect or who to vote for, but uh, I will, you know, give tips on um, how to, to make your vote worth, okay. Uh, do you choose, uh, do you vote? according to the political party or to the you know candidate themselves or is it you know based on um what you know your family or your friends uh, influence maybe okay uh, so that is the content that i will put even though i'm not a candidate i'm not into politics sorry okay i'm just a lecturer who are dealing with young people all the time okay so the future is in their hands um so it's good that I also, uh, you know, educate them on, you know, who to, not who, but how to vote, how to vote uh, intellectually for the benefit of other people. Because we know they, they you know, I don't know, uh, they, they choose based on things that, you know, may not be the same as we are, because I'm in my 50s. So, uh, you know, my, my, my criteria for choosing uh, candidates may be different from them. Okay, uh, I'm not easily influenced. I'm not even interested in the politics, but since I have to vote, I will go and vote. Okay, but the youngsters, they may have something else in mind. Yeah, okay. So enough about politics. I will move on. <laughs> okay, uh, taking action. Okay, so now you know you have to do content uh, marketing. You know how to write content. You know what to do, where to post, where to post, how to post. Okay, now let me tell you, uh, how to do it, okay, the taking action. There are tools that you can use to do your content um, posting, okay, uh, automated. You don't have to sit, you know, by your device every time to post, you know. You can even post at 2 a.m. with you, you know, sound asleep. So there are tools that you can use. Uh, for instance, Linktree. Linktree boleh, can uh, post to multiple platforms. Okay, and you can uh, plan ahead when to put it out. Okay, and you can, of course, stop it before it goes out. Right, second is storytelling. Okay, a content marketer must know how to tell stories. Um, it can be wordy, you know, in paragraphs, but certain platforms cannot take paragraphs, they cannot take too many words, or maybe storytelling in a video form. Uh, Video is a very powerful tool for storytelling, but I must caution you, it can easily go wrong because uh, humans interpret things differently, okay? Um, especially young people, they've got some very impressive, expressive um, way of telling stories, okay? Um, if you see the Westerns, uh, yeah, the Westerners, they do video sometimes, you know, you don't, even understand what they're trying to say, but they are conveying some message. So sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. So to be safe, to cater to all, you know, a wide range of audience, uh, always do storytelling that are uh, acceptable, at least in your social circle, okay? Because those are your target. If you're doing it for, say, um, other countries, okay, you must understand what, you know, they are, their preference or their, you know, you know the word taboo, the, the don'ts, okay? What is not acceptable in that country, don't. Because, um, but then again, social media uh, content writers uh, are usually attention seekers. So they like to do things that are not acceptable, you know, so, and and getting attention. Betul tak? I think that's true, okay? Yeah. so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Copywriter, yeah? Okay. Yeah. The uh, things yeah we say, how, why do you do that? Why do you jump from the building? You know, but that's what 
storytelling is all about okay yeah. and that's what they they are fond of so whatever it is my personal advice is be safe okay be safe with your life be safe with your family okay uh, don't go overboard okay uh, ingat allah <laughs> ingat tuhannya <laughs> okay the third is branding okay uh, your content is also your personal branding if you like to brand yourself as number two, eh, the daredevil, the sorry to use the word devil, the daring type, you know, the attention seeker, the yeah. come look at me kind of person, then that's your brand. But again, I would like to advise you, be careful. Okay, be careful and be safe. Think of others before you do anything so so crazy. And lastly is gamification. Gamification uh, in Malaysia is not yet... Uh, well accepted or well taken uh, uh, take off yet but i'm sure you know in the states in the us uh, gamification is already part of the content okay we can always learn to do this uh, simple games like poll service that one we can do but gamification like you know uh, ai and all that we are still behind um so maybe the youngsters can take that up as uh, your content okay uh, as your content strategy yeah, please do. Okay, so um, now it's already 12. Uh, I think uh, I'm on track. I would like to share some real life examples. As I mentioned just now, uh, Ms. Oval, right after class, I asked the students to do a small uh, assignment. Okay, right. I, mm -hmm. I got them to uh, open, uh, open their Instagram, uh, look for Starbucks uh, around the world. Okay, and mm -hmm. post to me and share with me the postings that they have. So uh, there were 13 of them yesterday. So there were 13 uh, countries, but I cannot, I did not manage to do it all. So I just have maybe about five or six to share mm -hmm. today. Okay, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I will start with Australia. Okay, okay. that's great then. Yeah. So it's still related with my session last week. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was inspired by the video, by the way. <laughs> yeah, all right then. Yeah, Thank okay. You. All right. So yesterday we used the uh, Miss Oval used the uh, example of Starbucks. So I was inspired by that. Okay. So I said, okay, let's do this. So I start with Australia because uh, I cannot remember. I didn't take down uh, the name of this person who did this. Uh, his uh, her screenshot. I think her. His her. Uh, the screenshot is uh, enough to show the picture, the copywriting. The content that they have and also the when was it posted okay for me to do a short analysis so some um you know has a good uh overall content some do not so posting for australia it's like daily okay uh daily posting uh the content that they post is mostly about christmas already since it's already november uh, they have got weekly offer still in November, okay, the high pay hour and all that. And um, on the 1st of November, uh, they were promoting their Starbucks app, okay. So this is one of the many countries that actually promote the Starbucks app. Uh, most are already, you know, into the Christmas. Okay, uh, and of course, Australia uses English, yeah. Okay, next is Brazil. Brazil do not use English. Uh, all the content, okay, this one do not have the, the number of this. But, yeah. Mm, but when I Google, they say they post about two to three times a day. But mm -hmm. if we see the number of days at the bottom, it's not true. Eh? So mm -hmm. it's more like, you know, maybe once or twice a, a week. So the promotion is already into Christmas, you know, celebrating Christmas, the special flavor of Christmas and all that. Yeah, okay. Felis Novi that there is a song, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the form, yeah. Felis Novi that. Uh... Because there's another uh picture also of the form, but with different sprinkles. So I'm not sure about the Brazilians' um target audience. You know, maybe uh, they're they're attracted by the form. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a good finding. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, this is our neighbor Brunei. Okay, Brunei uh, has got a very clean, you know, no, not much color, but of course the Christmas theme is already in. Uh, they, I don't know how often they post, but uh, they they do show, you know, um, social or you know, 
uh, drinking with friends and all that. Yeah. So this is a good way of promoting the weekends. Okay. Cambodia. Okay. Who would know Cambodia has got a very uh, you know, um active um IG post for Starbucks. Okay, Cambodia. Um they post two three times a day. They use English, of course, and their promotion are all the holiday season already. Okay, for the past uh, few days. Why do I say not in English? They are in English. Okay, all right. Uh, mistake over there. They they are using English. Okay. Yeah, mistake. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and Greece. Uh, Greece is also in English. Okay. Um, the posting of more or less less social more on the product okay um but mm, and the 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 event that they have okay social event that they have uh, planted three so that's good something um you know a, a community base and this is mexico of course not in english mm -hmm. um a mix of uh, christmas theme singles day uh, I'm not sure whether anyone noticed it was a singles day a few days ago. Um, okay, the flavors in uh in the Christmas uh speak theme. Okay, and the Happy Monday. Okay, uh, sometimes they have special offers for um beginning of the week, like Miss Oval mentioned yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and lastly is Malaysia. Malaysia is very famous for you know posting two three times a day that one i know but unlike the others uh Starbucks malaysia promotes the 2023 planner i don't know uh, about uh, if indonesia is you know have this posting in starbucks indonesia but in malaysia uh having this planner is the calendar is the planner for next year next year um, yes yeah uh, having uh, the organizer, the Starbucks organizer is like a must-have okay. for the executives in Malaysia. I don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. So they will collect points up to 300 mm -hmm. or pay 288 for wow. the planner. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I'm not one of them. Sorry. So this is like uh, 288 is about a million? Yeah. A million rupees? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's uh, okay. for, a notebook. for the netizens, okay. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, the students will go for it. I don't. Um okay. okay, Starbucks Malaysia also promotes the I would call a plastic bag, but it's mm -hmm. a holiday gift bag. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, again. Like a total bag. Yes, like uh, yeah. So it's good to bring drinks to office, you know, you don't but people can see what they bring, you know. Yeah. Uh, so that's not very nice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and of course the rewards. Okay, like Australia, um, Starbucks Malaysia also um promotes the the rewards and the bonus and the apps. Okay, mm -hmm. and of course the drinks. Yeah, uh, in their promotion. Okay, so terima kasih. That's okay. uh, <laughs> that's the end of my session or my sharing. Uh, do we have any questions? Let me just check the chat. Okay, thank you oh, very much, Miss Jaslyn. Let's give a big applause first for Miss Jaslyn, okay, for the thank presentation. You. Thank okay. you, thank you. Yeah, all right then, class. Okay, if you've got any questions, seems that Ibu Pamela has already raised her hand. Ibu Pamela mau yeah. bertanya Ibu ya. Boleh silakan Ibu Pamela. Boleh, okay. boleh, boleh. Bisa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Make your camera on, Ibu. Yeah. Terima kasih. Okay. Setelah itu ada, ada siswa dari Sultan Delva nanti. Setelah Ibu Pamela, baru nanti ke mahasiswa. Silakan Bu Pamela. Ya, yeah, menarik sekali. Uh, sorry, I, uh, saya mius bahasa. Because That's my fine. English is uh, not fluently. Ya, yeah, uh, menarik sekali Ibu, apa yang Ibu paparkan. Khususnya kalau kita lihat Starbucks ya, begitu inovatif, kemudian hmm. begitu kreatif. Kita bisa lihat Walaupun dia ada di seluruh dunia, tapi hmm. berbagai kesempatan, berbagai momen itu bisa dia gunakan untuk menyesuaikan diri dengan kondisi negara masing-masing seperti itu. Hmm. Itu luar biasa ya, kalau kita mengajarkan ke mahasiswa kita, Starbucks itu bisa menjadi contoh yang luar biasa. Kalau kita yeah. bandingkan misalnya Indonesia dengan uh, Malaysia, 
Asia itu tidak terlalu beda masalah ya. peminum kopi itu ya Bu ya. Dari awalnya kopi itu bisa berkembang menjadi sesuatu yang luar biasa. Jadi mereka tidak hanya menjual kopi tapi khususnya di Indonesia itu mereka juga menjual komunitas ya, menjual hmm. tempat, kemudian menjual kebersamaan. Itu hmm. luar biasa. Hanya komentar Ibu tidak bermaksud bertanya. Oh, okay. Sukses selalu Ibu, hmm. terima kasih banyak sharingnya. Okay. Terima, terima kasih Ibu Pamela. Pamela. Oke, okay, thank you. Uh, berikutnya seperti ada tadi sudah ada yang raise hand Ibu, ada Sultan Dava. Silakan Dava. Ya. Yeah. Yeah, uh... Hai Miss uh, Jasmine. Boleh dibuka kameranya ya. Sudah yeah. dibuka. Ya, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Halo, Dasar. Hai kelas ya, Ibu. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, good. Ya, oke. Eh, so I want to ask about your opinion on clickbait and some other technique, dirty technique on content marketing. Uh, so you said earlier content marketing is based on value of the product and most company use storytelling to sell their product and getting brand awareness. But lately, I've seen on social media, a lot of people use a storytelling, but they lie and exaggerated their product and their story. So what do you think about that? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Dafa. Okay, thank you, Dafa. Okay, uh, exaggerate. Uh, over, over claiming um, until we, we, you know, we as the potential buyers see it as betul ke ni? And it's too good to be true, uh, but it it does work because uh, basically marketing is all about that. Okay, overclaiming, uh, making things uh, be, you know look real. Um, I'm sure those people who write are actually good storytellers, and they get that get your attention. So that's why you you know you notice that this cannot be true. This cannot be right. There must be something else about this. Okay, because they are good writers. The not so good writers don't get your attention at all. Okay, uh, so if you see a, a, the one that gets your attention that you, you know, start to think about it, you have some ideas about it, then, you know, they are probably the good, the good storytellers. Uh, the skill of storytelling is, is very important. Okay, uh, in my class, we do not have uh, a session where, you know, not to say session, but we do not give marks or assessment on storytelling, okay? But what I do in class is that students will be made to just, you know, get up and share whatever they want to share. I have students who shared, um, she was very quiet and uh, shy, okay? Very timid in class. So when it was her turn, she got up, she told a story about how her sister went blind. Um, until about 17 years old, she was very clear-sighted, mata elok, semua bagus. And, you know, suddenly she got like, uh, apa ni? Rasa berpasir, yeah. like, you know, something is in the eyes. So she mm -hmm. started scrubbing, you know, the, the eyes went red, went to the doctor, doctor said there was a tear. So the tear, you know, became bad and eventually she got, you know, her, one of her eyes went blind. Oh, so the, sorry. The, yeah, so the, the, you know, how the family had to actually, you know, try to help her get around the house. Mm -hmm. Outside is a different thing, you know, because if you don't trust me, you try to close your eyes one day and just walk out around your office for, you know, just one one round. Just close your eyes, one, uh, one of your eyes. You cannot. It's not the same. Yeah, so imagine living like that for the rest of the life. So she was sharing how the family, you know, had to, to understand the, the sister first and then they could help her uh, do that. And the rest of us who heard her story also did the experiment and, you know, yeah, betul, it's not easy. So mm -hmm. her, her quietness was actually revealed, you know, and after that she, she didn't stay quiet lah because she, she managed to, you know, get out of, of, of her comfort zone. And she, you know, become one of us. Yeah. But storytelling is important. The skill of storytelling is important. Most of us, we like to hear stories, but we don't like to share because we think nobody wants to listen to us. But writing, okay, all of you has got your social media, right? Write mm -hmm. in your social media, you know, try to write a story and see how, how and who responded to your story. And that will show whether you're a good storyteller or not. It's a skill. It's a skill. Okay. Mm -hmm. I hope I answer you, Dafa. 
Yeah, that's it answer your question, so, Dava. Yeah. So this uh, <laughs> overclaiming and exaggerating is we can be tolerate as uh, content marketing. Uh, you can, you can. As I said just now, you know, doing daring things, uh, you know, uh, climbing the tallest building in Jakarta and then, you know, um, using just a single road, you jump off, you know, like that French uh, Spider-Man, okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, that is a storytelling that you can do. But it's, you know, it's it's exciting. To you, it is fun. To you, it is daring. But to many of us, including uh, Miss Oval, it's like crazy. Don't do that. There are other things that you can do to attract attention. Okay, so overclaiming also can be done, but not don't do don't use it often, because people will you know eventually see that your product is you know, uh, ah, yeah. tipu je, kan? Uh, thank you, thank you, Miss Jasmine. Uh, Dawa, thank you. you do remember about the ethics, okay? Because that's uh. the thing that we need to concern or, or consider when we are creating the, what is it, the content of marketing. So we've got to consider about the ethics and then the trust and honesty because yeah. it will be uh, okay uh, valuable in doing that things. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. any other question? Ada pertanyaan lagi kah? Bapak tunggu. Apa, Pasti apa ada mau dicerita. Oh, yeah. uh, Pak Tunggul is also our uh, yeah. what is it, a fellow lecturer. Okay, uh, he is teaching a marketing in Perbana as well. Uh, there is also okay. Pak Mulyanto ya. Halo Pak Mulyanto. Hi. Yeah. Okay. There are many. Jasmine, thank you. Kalau, yeah. Uh, Silakan ya. Pak. Okay. Silakan, uh, Pak uh, yeah. Thank you for the chance, Bu Jasmine. It's very interesting presentation and also the material also thank you uh, yeah there are some questions that actually uh sorry to yeah i have a note already uh, mm, okay what, yeah okay first question is uh about the valuable of the content itself okay how do you count the value of your content referring to the target of a marketing strategy program that you conduct because some uh, of the producer or marketers uh, try to use some contents but sometimes they conduct the content or choose the topic of the content is not really related mm. to the content. Uh, my, my, my first question is really related to the second question uh, like this. Some companies are using their CSR program becoming their regular content in their social media. Uh, my question, uh, second question is the effectiveness of the content because uh, Sometimes the CSR program that conducting by, by the company is not directly related to the product or the brand of the company. For example, uh, well, okay, Bujasin, I don't know in Malaysia, but if in Indonesia, uh, the producer of cigarette cannot mm -hmm. perform their marketing strategy promoting directly showing yeah. the product of the cigarette. For example, uh, showing the person really smoking uh, on board or on the movies, things like that. So they have to create uh, or perform some uh, topic of the content, which is not actually directly related yeah. to their product. So mm -hmm. yeah, again, coming back to the question is how, how effective later on the content that they choose. And again, of course, uh, how to choose the effective content. Uh, since the product itself, uh, according to the regulation, cannot be shown directly in the advertisement or things like that. Uh, well, uh, and then, uh, okay, the third question is uh, oh, maybe... Okay. Related. You've got many questions here, but the most... Sorry, sorry. It's very one prepared. More, one, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one more, uh, yeah. how about the testimony? Uh, the testimony of the product is that really content of marketing or just uh, promotion, uh, normal promotion? Okay, thank you very much, Ibu. Sorry to one question. Thank you, Ibu. Okay, thank you, Papa. Um, okay, um, I knew questions like this will come up, but I didn't know it would come uh, as a set of three. Okay. Um, okay. First, uh, how to measure effectiveness? Uh, like any other things on digital marketing, the way uh, how do we measure effectiveness is through the analytics. 
Okay, whatever platforms that we use, we have, uh, they have their own, uh, like Facebook, they have Facebook Insight, okay, uh, Instagram right. analytics and all that. So, you know, using the analytics, but you need to do, uh, you know, you need to create a page, not the individual page like ours that we have, okay, a business page, then they, they will have, they will come with uh, the analytics uh, features. So, how we know it's effective or not, um, like I use an example just now, the students uh, writing, you know, using not very appropriate, um, you know, uh, language or content. Um, simply, you know, not even looking at the analytics, when they don't have any responses, nobody are liking the post or responding to the post, sharing the post, then it's already a clear example that, you know, it's not an effective or even a good content because people are not responding. So when they start responding, uh, you know, giving question, asking questions or even giving comments, then you may have some idea. Oh, maybe, uh, you know, a lot of people are asking for price because we're not putting the price uh, on our page. So maybe solution is to put the price or have it, you know, some other ways. But there are also, um, the analytics is very powerful for you to know if certain uh, engagement comes on which day, which posting, and at which hour, okay? Uh, so analytics is, is the way to go. For your second question, um, promoting products that are not uh, allowed for say on TV. Eh? Uh, in Malaysia, only on the TV, radio, and cinema. Uh, cigarettes, are not, cigarettes and alcohol are not allowed to be promoted. But I personally have not tried on IG if any of the cigarette companies has got any page, you know, um, on IG. Uh, maybe Naufa can help me find if there is any. Because I, I, I'm not a cigarette, you know, I'm not a smoker, so I don't intend to find, you know, I did, have never planned to find such info. But if there is, then, you know, maybe we can look at how they promote or even portray their product okay because it's illegal anywhere else so on social media i'm not sure maybe they do maybe they don't i'm not sure okay the third one is testimony uh testimony is widely used okay a lot of companies are using uh customers testimony as their content uh it's good uh but not always good okay because if you only use testimony means you are not talking on you know about the product yourself you're using other people's word so those other people may be uh, sincere maybe you know just you know trying to look nice to you or even paid to do that so you know as for me when i see a custom a, a testi product a customer's testimony i will not take the the story as it is you know i will always have questions like um if say slimming product how big was she before? Uh, you know, uh, is she really fat? Or, you know, does she only eat, um, you know, um, carbo uh, during the period of time? Uh, so I have all those questions. So I, I, I don't take product testimony at surface. Okay. So I'm sure a lot of people are also like that. Unless the before and after picture is, you know, uh, like, Bapak tahu lah eh. Yang bedanya sangat sangat berbeza. Lepas yang after tu, like you know, wow, supermodel kan, pakaiannya, badannya, ah, yang itu yeah. saya pun mau beli terus. Tak tanya lah, okay, terus cari <laughs> nak beli. Alright, okay. So I hope I answered your questions. Uh, Pak Tunggu. Thank you very much, yeah. Ibu. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, terima kasih Ibu. Okay, okay. Thank you, Pak Tunggu. Is there any other questions, class? This is very interesting, okay, talking about the content marketing strategy. and Yes, research. yes. <laughs> you will make a good research, uh, Ibu. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, comparison. Uh, I'm suddenly thinking about research. Yeah. Uh, you know, comparing, um, like, for instance, uh, the product testimony. Yeah. How yeah. does the Indonesian versus Malaysian uh, view of product testimony? Okay. Yeah. Probably Bapak Tunggu, mau join nggak? <laughs> research, yeah, Ibu. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Okay, yeah. so uh, I have a kind of what is it uh, like uh, information seekers? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so probably it 
can be uh, what is it uh, a part of the testimony okay so yeah. where do they get the information by having mm. the reference for mm. making the decision sure. like that for yeah. a product yeah okay we can discuss later on <laughs> yeah maybe for 2023 this year uh, the annual uh, appraisal has already completed <laughs> <laughs> all right okay yeah yeah but we work for next year yeah. The, yeah we've got the proposal and the concepts yes yes yeah okay thank you jesseline okay thank you so yes. much uh, okay class do you want to have uh ask another questions to ibu jesseline feel free then ada pak dono juga ini mungkin silakan kalau mau bertanya atau teman-teman di kelas digital marketing ataupun content marketing silakan if you've got any questions okay ada Apollo ibu yes, yes you may make your camera on Apollo because it is recorded ya yeah. uh, he's in my class ibu in content marketing okay yes okay yeah uh, you may unmute yourself Apollo hello he is an athlete he is a basketball uh, okay. player mm -hmm. Yes, Apollo. Sila, silakan. We couldn't catch your voice. Suaranya nggak kedengeran ya? Boleh? Atau nggak usah pakai headset ya? What's the questions? Okay. Okay. Probably there is a bad connection, ya, Ibu, ya? Yeah. Ya. Uh, yeah. uh, Oke, okay. sambil menunggu Apollo, uh, mungkin ada pertanyaan lain dari teman-teman? Silahkan. Rialdi mungkin, atau Daniela, atau Aziza, atau siapa ini? Ya, yeah, Apollo, are you okay? Are you going to ask a question or not? Farel mungkin atau Ismail, Wildan, Lutfi. Silakan raise your hand if you have any question to Ibu Jaslin. Apollo, you may type your question if you cannot uh, speak. Ya, yeah, boleh ditulis ya if you may write down in uh, chat ya. Boleh tulis di kolom chat ya. Kalau ada pertanyaan, halo, yes, class. This is a good opportunity to ask to Ibu Jaslyn about content marketing. Dan oke, okay, Afif, silakan, Afif. Afif, do you want to ask a question? Ya, siapa yang mau bertanya? Silakan. Hai, Sila. Oh, ya, silakan Pak Tunggu lagi. Oke, okay, Pak Tunggu lagi. Sorry. Uh, ja, while waiting for the question to from other students, I just okay. would like to share their experience uh, mm -hmm. looking at the social media Uh, content marketing in the IG and also in the news. Uh, there's a restaurant uh, mm -hmm. making the advertisement like this. Don't eat here. The taste is not good. But when I saw the restaurant, the restaurant is really full. I don't know what is. Uh, maybe Bu Jasmine can can uh, explain from the theory point of view how. How this statement can make the 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 yeah the buyer to come uh, in Bahasa Indonesia say like this jangan datang ke restoran ini rasanya tidak enak <laughs> tapi well the restaurant even full uh, everybody come and even not only one time uh, I try to come also and then ask why you keep coming here in this restaurant since the restaurant say that the, the taste is not good, but why you come, and even more than one time. And they said, <laughs> well, actually, I proved that the taste is good, not just uh, unlike what they said, things like that. So 
What do you think, Bu Jaslin, with that? <laughs> okay, thank. Okay, thank you, Bapak. Um, in in Instagram, uh, there are a lot of uh naughty marketing like that. Uh, they will uh, say, uh, jangan dibaca, scroll, laju laju scroll, jangan dibaca. Uh, yeah. Right. Kalau tak nak kaya, kalau nak kaya, uh, kalau tak nak kaya jangan baca. Scroll laju laju. <laughs> so the more reason we want to, ah, huh? kenapa? Kenapa di scroll scroll laju? Mau kaya ya, eh? mau kaya, mau kaya. So uh -huh. it gets our attention. So uh -huh. like the example you said, you know, ah jangan datang kedai ni, jangan pergi, tak sedap. Kita uh, jadi yeah. jadi yeah. curious kan, like, eh, uh, lalu kan, oh ni kedai yang tak sedap, tapi beratunya ramai. Kenapa hmm. berat kan kalau tak, so it's a kind of naughty marketing. It works actually. It so works. Theoretically, it's called naughty marketing, ya bu. Ah, uh, it's a it's a term that I I I coin myself. Oh okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, well. A few days uh, last week, I learned a, a new term: boring marketing. Boring uh. marketing is uh marketing things that are obvious. For instance, uh in Indonesia, um you know uh, nasi padang, eh. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. To promote nasi like padang. It. Like it. I do. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> I do. So. Okay. <laughs> so to promote nasi uh, padang, you show plates of uh, the lovely lauk and the uh -huh. nasi in the center. Uh, that is boring marketing. You know. Ah. Uh, okay. You're, yeah. you're marketing the obvious. What you yeah. should be doing okay. Ella, to put faces people around the food. Mm -hmm. And you know, like holding fork and spoon, waiting to to eat. Uh, that will be interesting, mm -hmm. or even product testimony. But you know, to put food, just picture of the food, it does not work. Uh, if you can, uh, you know, recall McDonald's don't use a picture of the burger itself anymore. You know, they mm -hmm. will have some, you know, some things along with it. Uh, maybe smoke coming out from the burger or the sauce. You know, mm -hmm. um coming down on the side of the burg of the meat patty or whatever uh, mm -hmm. okay they, they no longer sell product the as product it itself yeah yes mm -hmm. yes because mm -hmm. uh, that is boring marketing yeah <laughs> that's right okay they are getting what is it uh, pay, uh, trying to attract the attention of the customers yes yes uh -huh, the attention okay because they are getting inquisitive okay what yes is betul betul because that is what marketing is all about it's creating creating attention you know unusual uh, attraction yeah. point yeah yes, yes. Unusual. but whether it's the positive attraction or the negative attraction yeah mm -hmm. uh, if it is in bahasa indonesia slang ibu uh, uh. inquisitive means kepo okay <laughs> oh kepo sibuk sibuk uh, kepo itu wants to know inquisitive oh, well, ayo lah in, in uh, Malaysia, we yeah. also have kepo, but oh, it means yeah. you know you want you want to know you're very um, yeah, want to, yeah. Ah, kan sebo lah, sebo nak tahu, semua nak tahu ah, kepo. No, so yeah, sama ya. Yeah. <laughs> sama. Sama ya. Yeah. Okay, kepo. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, ada pertanyaan lagi kah? Silakan mau tulis di chat. We do still have some time. Kita masih punya waktu beberapa menit lagi ya, teman-teman. Silakan dimanfaatkan untuk bertanya kepada Ibu Jaslin. Silakan. Tadi Apollo yes, boleh Daniela. boleh jadi type. Hmm. Uh, ah, yeah, ya, you may type it in the chat room. Silakan. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, yes. Good afternoon and thank you, ma'am Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine actually. Okay, not Jasmine. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, my first question is how do we deliver digit digital effectiveness? Okay. Because digital advertising costs are high uh, and our resources are limited. And then second, how to maximize digital marketing if our marketing targets are not very active on social media and are not familiar with technology. For example, mm -hmm. maybe housewife. Oh, don't say housewife. Housewife are now is getting familiar <laughs> with the or oh, even you know, Ibu, even uh, sometimes I saw, okay, the 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 females or housewives, okay, they put their phone here while they are yes. riding a motorbike. Betul. Yeah, correct. Betul, Bu. Sambil yeah. riding, ya. Yeah. Sambil dengan bercakap-bercakap di traffic yeah, light, ya. Yeah. And without helmet. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jangan, Apollo, marah makcik-makcik nanti. Yeah. Okay, silakan, Ibu. 
<laughs> okay, uh, thank you Apollo for your question. Oh, Mama Saya. Okay, all right. Uh, your question is about action regarding marketing automation. All right. Deliver digital effectiveness uh, costs are high. Okay, digital advertising is high. But if you use social media, it is not as expensive as hiring other people to do it for you. Okay, that is why subjects like content marketing, digital marketing, it's available everywhere. If you go on YouTube, there are many gurus out there who can share how to do digital advertising. Okay, how to do uh, digital marketing using social media. Because it is for everyone. I tell you, it's for everyone. Uh, even your mama can use it. If she knows how to use a phone, she can WhatsApp people, she can do marketing. Because marketing not, not necessarily use social media, must have picture, must have photograph, you know, Perfect. taken using. Ah, what's up status, you yeah. know, sharing with the, the fellow uh, housewives in the area. She can, she can. So don't worry. Uh, since the uh, pandemic, yeah, in 2019, uh, the small town that I live in right now, uh, previously there were no uh, food delivery. Uh, all food, you know, are sold in the shops or the the stalls uh, uh, along the roadside. But during the pandemic, the lockdown, okay, those small businesses sold their uh, food item on WhatsApp group. And I am one of them who buy every day. Breakfast near line, lunch near line, tea. Sometimes I also buy something online because we couldn't get, go out, you know. So these businesses, they become smart enough to sell their product even on WhatsApp, only on WhatsApp, okay? You can get customers. No. Uh, and do uh, effective uh, content, uh, that is something that you have to learn, okay? Um. But I think for the makci, you know, for your mama, it's more try and error. Try something. If it gets uh, other people's attention, meaning you're doing okay. Right? So just now like um, question by Pak Tunggul, yeah? uh, how to measure effectiveness? If it works, you get responses, you get likes, you get orders, you're doing okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you will have to know those kind of words, you know, the content that you use attracts who? So to attract a different kind of target market, maybe the younger generation or, you know, uh, you want to encourage them to buy on regular basis, then maybe you need to uh, improve your content writing. In your content writing, must say that you are open every day. You you know, you they can order anytime, uh, for instance. Mm -hmm. Okay, Apollo, have I answered your question? Yeah, okay then. Thank you, Ibu yeah. Yasmin. Okay, okay, sepertinya ada pertanyaan lagi ini dari Daniela. Okay. Uh, bagaimana membuat konten yang baik walaupun bisnis yang kita miliki tidak begitu menarik? Contohnya bisnis seperti furniture ataupun kontrakan. Uh, Oke, okay. uh, kontrakan you know, ya yeah, ibu like... Uh, uh, contractor ya, yeah. developer like that. No, no, no. Uh, no, no. Eight houses. Uh, somebody, somebody has a house and then the house get rented to, for, for example, to student, to the... Okay. Animal. Yeah. Uh, like okay. that. And mm -hmm. we call it contrakan because you 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 stay there, you pay for a month or maybe a year. Oh, like so contractor is the owner, the landlord, uh, you mean? Uh, no, it's uh, not the landlord, it's, it's the, the tenant. Yeah, the, yeah, the tenant is, uh, how to uh, attract yeah. the tenant to uh, rent a house like that. Ah, okay, okay, all right. So, business yang kita miliki tidak begitu menarik. Oh, salah ni. Furnitures uh, from Indonesia are very well accepted in Malaysia. So how can those furnitures come to Malaysia if you are not uh, promoting it well? Okay. Uh, nowadays, everything um, are bought online, even furnitures. Mm -hmm. So again, repeating my answer to uh, Apollo, do it online. Use your social media, get your social media uh, link, share, share with, you know, maybe you will start small with just, you know, your family and friends. And lepas ni, you go and promote to uh, Madam Oval. Madam Oval akan promote kepada saya and saya akan promote kepada kawan-kawan saya. Okay? okay. Provided you can do export. You can do the the delivery to Malaysia. Okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, if you ask me um, nak membuat content yang baik walaupun, uh, no, for businesses like furniture, 
don't do boring marketing. Don't take the picture of the almari and just ambil gambar, put on social media, no. Okay. Do like IKEA. Ah, uh, you know IKEA? Everybody know yeah. IKEA or not? Uh, huh? yeah. Use IKEA yeah. as an example. Yeah. Yeah. IKEA don't show a chair. Don't mm -hmm. show a, apa? a plate. Uh -huh. But they put it, you know, a, 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 a proper setup. But yeah. they sell individually. Uh, use IKEA as an example. Yeah. Physical okay, Ova. Okay, uh -huh. Daniela. I hope, yeah. I hope you, you have some, you get some idea. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, use IKEA oh, okay. or some other furniture international companies and see how they do their uh, content. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, thank you, Ibu. Okay. Oh, there is another question. Is it okay? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, Ibu. Uh, 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 ini juga uh, one of my student, Wilden. Wilden, you may make your camera on, probably. Okay. Uh, bagaimana cara memasarkan konten marketing yang sukses dan baik untuk produk jasa yang baru saja launching? Sehingga konsumen bisa tertarik dengan jasa yang ditawarkan. Ini jasanya bidang apa ya, Wilden? Wilden, boleh dibuka? Karena kalau kita ngomong jasa kan ada jasa keuangan, jasa pendidikan, jasa kesehatan. Uh, Wilden, do you want to make your camera? Jasa is services, is it? Services, yes, that's right. Services. Okay. Uh, I suppose uh, if you can sell a product uh, using you know, uh, visual images of the product for services, is equally the same. But of course, you know, for like uh, Indonesia is famous for the spa, mm -hmm. spa treatments, uh, right? Yes, that's right. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. use this, that example. You can do content on the, the kind of uh, oils that you use, the, the, you know, the environment in the, the how do I say, bilik urut, yeah? Yeah, so well. pijat, pijat urut. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, the bed, uh -huh. the, the environment, uh, you know, usually they the use the, uh, you know, the Sunda or Bali theme songs, right? Uh, so those kind of things will, will attract attention, especially the oils. Uh, I've seen uh, one promo uh, juice, juice bar, okay? Uh, they, they are famous in all the malls, in, even in Malaysia. I saw it in Jakarta also. Uh, you know, the, the, the mix of the different fruits will give what benefit, okay? Say orange, carrot, and tomato is for uh, energy. Uh, cucumber, something cold is for, you know, heatiness. So maybe for this uh, spa, spa services can also use uh, that kind of uh, method, okay? Uh, mm. For, say, uh, pening kepala, uh, sakit belakang, lepas bersalin mungkin. So, mm. you know, what kind of the different oils? You share content like that, uh, I'm sure people will look at it, they will not go and find the oil, but they will come to you because they know you can, you know, you can do it for them. Okay? Mm. Um, share tips on how to stay healthy after uh, a long weekend, you know, or after a, a long um, travel maybe. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, it is giving tips. It is, you know, um, like guide them how to take care of themselves. But mm -hmm. eventually, these people who are interested, they will come to the spa because they know, you know, menjaga diri sendiri tak seenak kalau, uh, you know, di spa. Kan? Di spa tu macam, betul. ah, pingsan semuanya, kan? Ya, yeah, betul, so, betul. Yeah, yeah. so, so, so pingsan. Yes. <laughs> Mau menunggu giliran tu tak sabar. Cepatlah, cepatlah. Nak masuk ni, nak masuk. Kan? Sampai je, ha, tidur. Okay, uh, apa dibuat tau tau dah habis tiga jam. Okay, alright. So, uh, within I think that should give some idea. Or do you have any services that you have in mind? Mungkin saya boleh bagi contoh lain. Business mo apa Wilden? Ah, uh, uh, kalau sorry, uh. Uh, I can speak uh, good English belum ya, Mona. Uh, boleh boleh. Saya mau ngambil contoh dari uh, perusahaan. Air Asia Food yang dimana sebelumnya mereka launching uh, makanan tapi uh, mereka belum berhasil tuh untuk konten marketingnya dan sekarang ini uh, mereka meluncurkan lagi di uh, di Bali tentunya untuk launching produk pertamanya dia sebelumnya ini sudah di launching cuman dia gagal me, uh, menarik kembali lalu uh, remake uh, launching lagi untuk di Bali itu 
contoh yang saya uh, ambil dari perusahaan Air Asia Food. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Alright, oke. Okay. Faham, saya faham. Oke, okay, kalau dulunya tak menjadi, now dia uh, dah sudah di rebrand atau di uh, repackage balik ya, uh, mau diperkenalkan semula. So jangan jangan kaitkan dengan yang lepas yang tak menjadi tu. Okey, kontennya jangan di di relate kepada atau jangan jangan masukkan cerita yang kenapa dulu tu uh, tidak berhasil. Okey, uh, ceritakan ini benda yang baru, ini benda yang fresh. Um, you know, ada promosi harga ke mungkinnya. Okey, ataupun uh, apa benda baru yang ada uh, ditawarkan pada masa ini. Uh, itu saja. Okey, boleh boleh dicuba. Uh, tapi kalau saya sendiri kalau students uh, bertanya kepada saya, saya akan kata cari contoh international yang ada. Okay. Kalau kata uh, produk tadi tu yang Wendon sebut tu, uh, competitionnya di Amerika ialah siapa. Uh, tengok contoh dia buat bagaimana. Okay. Tadi saya share, salah satu cara untuk buat konten yang baik adalah tengok apa competitor you buat. Okay. Uh, sama ada you boleh jadi sama macam dia, jadi lain atau macam mana, uh, decide sendirilah. Okay. Di Okay, boleh apa kan? Thank you, Miss. Alright, okay, sama. Okay, Apollo, wah, datang lagi. Menyebabkan target KMP tidak tercapai. Okay, Ibu, saya mohon maaf. Ini saya koneksinya jelek sekali ya. Uh, jadi saya yeah. keluar sini. Uh, okay. Uh, baik, mungkin satu aja ya pertanyaan yang ambil. Karena Apollo sudah bertanya tadi ya. Saya bisa lewatkan ke okay. IFA ya, Bu. Reza, oh, Reza, okay. Karena saya takutnya nanti saya mentah lagi keluar gitu ya. Oke. Oke. Tentang marketing menjelekkan pengunjung. Seperti Karen's Dinner Restaurant yang ingin buka di Indonesia, akan banyak sekali pengunjung yang ingin datang. Tapi ini melenceng dari adab. Ini hampir sama dengan apa yang dikatakan Pak Tunggul ya tadi ya? Kalau nggak yeah, salah. Ya, ya. Uh, uh, tak, ini uh, ke Karen's Dinner ini dari US ya? Oh ya, ya. Oke, okay, ya. Yeah. Okey, uh, saya rasa uh, dari US uh, apa yang jeleknya tentang Karen Snyder ni saya tidak tak tidak, tak tak clear tak pasti. Uh, Oriza mungkin dia. boleh boleh dibuka yeah. kamera uh, explain kan, jelaskan. Maybe you boleh explain sedikit. Ya. Yeah. Oriza boleh ya yeah, okey silakan Oriza. Uh, maksudnya itu kayak yang di Karen dinner restoran itu, misalkan ada customer datang. Nah, okey. Tapi apa marketing ya, yang menjelekkan tu? Ya lebih ke kayak dia tu terkenal akan menjelekkan customer. Kalau misalkan ada customer datang, nah dia lebih kayak eh, ngapain ke sini? Mau beli apa? Kayak gitu bu. Jadi kayak lebih ke uh. kayak kasar. Customer yang tapi banyak banget pengunjung yang penasaran ingin datang ke restoran. Oh itu. iya iya iya. Oke ya, oke. Okay, okay. Ya tipikal apa yang di. Terus mereka kayak pas mau melayani uh, pengunjung dia langsung kayak mau makan apa ambil sendiri aja kayak gitu. Hmm. Lebih ke kayak maki-maki jatuhnya. Ya, ya. Jadi customer ya, itu diusulkan. Iya <laughs> benar. Ya. Ya, uh, di sana masalah attitude ya. Uh-huh. Okey. Ya, um, iya, iya. Okey, Oreza. Uh, saya rasa ini bahayanya kepada Karen Diner mereka yang uh, create this problem. Okey. Uh-huh. Uh, mungkin sekarang ramai yang datang because it is still new. Yeah. But if you know many people have the same experience, then more people will start coming. So uh-huh. dia sendiri yang akan ada masalah to get back. Be- the customer to come back. Uh, then they will have to do content marketing of, you know, uh, we are happy family, we welcome customers, you know. Uh, mereka yang akan menghadapi masalah, Oriza. Uh, hmm. Are you are you owner of uh, Karen's Diner? Tidak kan? Oriza, are you tuan punya Karen's Diner ke? Bukan? Enggak? Okay, bukan. Oh, uh, okay, then okay. it's not your problem. It's not your yeah. problem. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's uh, let... temporary, ya? Yeah? Yes, yes. Uh, hmm. Nanti... Uh, Mungkin lebih ramai yang terkena tak pergilah kan yeah. mereka yang akan bermasalah nanti. Mm-hmm. Uh, tapi as a netizen I'm sure Oriza maksudkan dia nak uh, promote the bad things lah about Karen Steiner betul. Mm-hmm. <laughs> betul. Ah uh, okey. Kalau yeah. umurnya saya ataupun Miss Oval ataupun Pak Tunggul okey 
kami ni um, uh, biarlah tak payah pergi kan uh, yeah. tapi you all yeah. the youngsters I know you all akan really kill them online okay or bagi gambar kan hal, share videos share videos and, share uh, yes, yes 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 uh-huh. uh, then do it if you think you know, you. that will help your hmm. fellow uh, customers do it okay uh-huh. uh, sebab yeah. itu bukan masalah you dia orang kurang uh, apa ni biadab tu bukan masalah customer itu masalah mereka okay yeah. you're right you boleh boleh portray lah put it as your content uh, tapi kena hati-hati takut dicari nanti <laughs> ibu uh, yeah. me. Uh, uh, while while listening your discussion uh-huh. uh, i'm trying to search about Karen's diner uh, Karen yeah. diner uh, style of marketing uh, uh-huh. it's really the their choice to do the style of marketing that way bu uh, yeah. here uh, i got the the article already that uh-huh. uh, The way they, they perform their marketing is really, we call it in Bahasa Indonesia, is nyeleneh. Nyeleneh uh-huh. means uh, weird. Uh-huh. Something weird, which is actually... Uh, okay. Even I mean, the promotion here in the article saying that if you want to come to Karen's diner, uh, dinner, you really have to to control your emotion. Mm. <laughs> okay. Like that, result, so, carilah kedai yang lain. Reza, is, uh, <laughs> She's trying yeah. to question the style of marketing. Why today one restaurant try to promote the restaurant with the contrary way? Oh, uh, okay. Is that acceptable in, in boring, Indonesia? Boring marketing. So they are not trying to do the boring marketing. So <laughs> differently. So okay. I just heard this. Uh, if I may share the... I don't know. Can I share screen so I can, I can share oh. the... The, the the link that I found. Sorry. Okay, you can you can what is it? Uh, put it in the chat room, Bapak, uh, for the link. Only But is, is that uh, such thing uh, acceptable in Indonesia? I mean, you know, uh, um, being weird well, or being uh, rude. Uh. They, actually, yeah. they, they, they are they are planning to come, so still there's no proof yet. Oh, uh, they're not yet in Jakarta. Okay. Yeah, but but uh, look this. That that's the title. I put in the chat. Okay, okay. Thank you, Pak. Apa-apa Karen Sdana Dinner yang bakal buka Jakarta. Tahan so emosi. It, it hasn't juga. been open yet, Ibu. It okay, okay, okay. Yet. all right. So they I are trying the to provoke first, okay? Yeah, I put the link. Okay, there. Oriza, tugasnya awak, stop them from coming. <laughs> Use your social media to stop them. <laughs> Don't come to yeah. Indonesia. Don't come to well, Malaysia. <laughs> that's right. Oh, takut dipukul nanti. <laughs> Yeah. Banyak yang penasaran, Bu, karena hal itu. Yeah. Karena yeah. dengan so that's right. Uh, many people will just curious with that uh, style of marketing. They really want to know mm. why, why, uh, how do you call it? Why, why that kind of restaurant with that kind of uh, marketing style can mm. go globally and even overseas, and people mm. really come Ooh. to that. Yeah, okay, yeah. honestly, I've not okay. heard of uh, Karen's okay. Diner before. So, hmm. saya tak tahu. Hmm. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Pak Tunggu, Oriza, yeah. okay. And then, uh, Apollo, Wilden, dan teman-teman yang sudah bertanya, serta teman-teman yang sudah bergabung pada siang hari ini. I'm afraid with the bad connection and the time is almost... Okay, <laughs> because it's already zuhur, ya. Yeah? Okay, teman-teman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Once more, uh, we do really appreciate for your uh, what is that? Your uh, participation, Ibu, in sharing session, okay, in our class, okay. Again, thank you very much, okay, Ibu, uh, Ibu dan you. Bapak. Uh, terima kasih juga atas kehadiran dan partisipasinya. Silakan dibuka kameranya. Kita akan berfoto bersama untuk okay. sesi pada saat ini. Yuk, silakan. Okay. Miss Oval, I'm going to miss you. Oh, well, okay. sudah kenal. Ya. Uh, okay, ya. sure, insya Allah. Insya Allah. Baik, silakan teman-teman. Wah, wow, cantik cantiknya semua. Okay. Ini, ayo silakan. Halo Salma, Anisha. Okay. Yang boleh dibuka ya, oke. Okay. Thank you. Saya akan. Oke, okay. wait. One, two, three. Oke, okay. kita punya ada empat, empat halaman ya, Bu. Four pages. Oke, okay, ini okay. baru halaman pertama. 
sebentar karena saya tidak ada yang bantu ini <laughs> so, oke okay. uh, wait sebentar wait oke okay, the second page Oke, okay, uh, yang kedua, oke, okay, halaman kedua boleh dibuka teman-teman. Halaman kedua ini masih banyak yang ditutup ya. Oke, okay, yang kedua silakan dibuka. Oke, okay, terima kasih. Oke, okay, yang ketiga, uh, halaman ketiga sebentar. Oke, okay, wait, give me a very best of yours, please. Oke. Okay. Senyum terbaiknya silakan. Oke, okay, halaman ketiga teman-teman boleh dibuka ini ketiga nggak ada yang buka ya? Oke. Okay. Oh, tadi ya. Uh, uh, halaman tiga ya, tolong ya. Oke. Okay. Uh, halaman tiga ini, oke okay, page three ini semuanya ditutup screennya. Oke. Okay. Bentar. Ya, baik. Uh, terima kasih sekali lagi Ibu Jaslin atas uh, Insya Allah bermanfaat buat kita semua. Ibu selalu sehat dan selalu sukses ya. Oke, okay, uh, kurang lebihnya saya mohon maaf apabila terdapat kekurangan ya Ibu ya. Oke, okay, betul sama saya pun Bu. Oke, okay, baik. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum. Baik, Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Terima kasih, Ibu Yasmin. Sama-sama, Anissa. Sama-sama, thank you. Oke, okay, bye. Oh, Ibu Nani lagi meeting. Bye. Ibu Nani. Ibu Tifa juga sudah meeting. Sama jumpa tahun depan. Insyaallah. Insyaallah. Ya, okay. ya. 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 Ya.